Today we're looking at the Full Aim X5 wireless dual microphone system and what do you think? You're listening to it right now. This is the quality of the audio before we do anything else with it. Has it got your vote? Well, if so, stick around because we're about to get into it. G'day guys, what's cracking? My name's Ralph Mayhew and I'm stoked to be with you today because this is the little unit that it comes in. When you open it up, you have two TX units and one RX. TX is for transmitter, RX is for receiver. Transmitters has a magnetic back and sits in your shirt nicely should you want to conceal it on the inside. They also have a nice little clip to them like so that you can use to clip on. This is the RX unit. This slides on the top of your camera into the hot shoe that you have there. It has some details on the LED which I will show you in due course and then it has these other two clips and the beauty of these other two clips is this is a lightning port so it can plug into your iPhone and this is the USB-C plug that can plug into your brand new iPhone or Samsung Google phones that you may have. So it enables your phone to receive audio from these microphones. Obviously you can plug a lavalier microphone into these. Um, you can have them just as they are or you can have them from ambient sound. Here's what you can expect from the unit. It has your charging box here to show you how charged it is. It is a charging unit and it holds the TX's here. So on the side of the TX, you have your power button and then your record button. And if you hold that for a couple of seconds longer, you get a noise reduction. We'll do a test on that later on. On the other side has a USB-C charging. You can either charge via that or you can use it as a data transmitter. These have an internal storage of four gigabytes. So you can record internally to them and then just pull that audio off straight onto your laptop. If you go to the top, we have a 3.5 jack for any sort of microphone you want to plug into that or the microphone itself. And then on the back, you have these built in magnets. So these magnets, let me just, there's a bit of, bit of zap to them and they pull from a fair distance away. Here's the clip. I like these because one, they've got some grippage here, but two, they're fairly heavy duty, so it doesn't feel like they're just gonna fall apart. You can actually keep the magnets on and they slot nicely into these. Here's the two plugs I was talking about before. So you can plug them into your phone like so, and then this part plugs in to the RX unit. Simply by plugging in this way, should you choose to plug in like that, or if you want it to face the other way, the beauty of USB-C is you can just turn it around and plug it the other way. You can also feed power straight into this should you want or another device if that's what you're after. On this side we have the power so we can turn it on and off by holding that down for a couple of seconds. And it tells you the status of the other microphones. If I pull this microphone out while we're talking, let me turn this off. See, it kills microphone two, and you know this is microphone one. It shows you on here the status of how much receptivity you have. So if you went further away, like we're going to do in a minute, and go up to 200 meters away, yes, that's right, you heard me correctly, you still should be able to hear it clearly. You can change the volume. If you look at that volume, if I just click the set button, it puts the volume up. So I'd recommend on having it between three and four. If it's too high, what happens is you can blow out the tops and the bottoms of your audio and it distorts even if you reduce the volume. So I'd just recommend having it maybe at three if you're having it in close quarters. The receptivity of the volume, my voice, go, it goes right there. You can just see what it does. And then you have the battery level, how much battery is in it and how much power you can expect from it. If you hold down this, it goes from mono. Mono means that both are recording to the same audio channel. Stereo means that both microphones record to a specific channel of their own. And then safe means one of them records at a six decibel less and that means it takes away the chances of your audio peaking and you distorting your audio. If you want to plug headphones in you can plug it in there and hear exactly what this is saying and then on the other side if you want to take the audio from here and you want to play it out to something else you use that output to do it. Here's the swanky box it comes in. I know it's even got one of those magnet things and it all sits there. It comes really nicely cased in that and you have this little box next to it which I need to tell you about because it has some really important cables in it. At the top we have a 35 mil jack that means we can attach the RX unit to the top of a camera. It simply plugs in here, loops around to the camera and you can record straight to your camera. 
Also, you can actually link this to one of your laptops or you can use your USB-C to link it to your computer. So we have a charging USB-C and we have a data USB-C. So you use this to take your audio recordings off of this and you use this to make sure your rechargeable case pack is charged. So talking about charging, so you charge this for two hours, check it out, you get 18 hours charge out of it, which basically means you can charge all of these three times over. Isn't that stunning? And the RX unit, you can use this constantly for six hours. You know, on my channel, I'm always like, gee, it'd be good if your, if your charging time could supersede in terms of its effectiveness, your usage time. Well, 18 to two, that's a world record, folks. Come on. This is a TRS cable that connects your RX unit to your camera. And then tucked away in the bottom here, we have these little, you see these are? These are wind socks. You can attach these to the top of the TX units. Oh, it's that easy. Look, you just push them on over the little microphone. It's there. And then once it's locked in, you turn it around and they're not about to push off. And they look all fluffy and cute. And do yourself a little bit of, <whistles> see what I did? I walked into a tree the other day. It was more like, the tree threw its branch at my face. That's exactly what happened. Anyway, um, we'll see how effective these are when we get a bit of wind. So let's go do that now. Let's get out in the field, test this, and see how we go. All right, guys, so I'm down on the beach and there's a bit of wind, and I'm intentionally positioning the microphone this way so it'll pick up some of that wind. There's some people taking their cat for a walk on a leash. Not even joking. Okay, now I'm gonna put the, wind, the dead cat or the windsock on. And how's that? What's the improvement like? I've actually plugged the RX into the camera and so the TX is sending the signal oh, a couple of meters. Uh, but that should be a lot better, right? That quality should be a lot better. Now what I'm gonna do is go down um, closer to the surf and I'm gonna put the noise reduction on and we're gonna see if that makes much difference. All right, so we're gonna kick things off. This is this, the microphone normal happening. This is the microphone with the dead cat connected to it. And then this is noise reduction with no dead cat and this should be sounding a lot better. And the dead cat is remarkably easy to attach and that should be the dead cat with noise reduction on. It should give us a nice, really clean, crisp audio without cutting out two of my intonations at the end of each word. That's how it does it. One of the other things I love about this is the yellow buttons. They are easy to see, locate and use. So now what we're gonna do is test to see if this microphone has a 200 meter range. This will be quite something. By the time I'm 200 meters away, you won't be able to see me and someone probably will have stolen this camera. So uh, you gotta trust me and I'll turn around every 10 meters and we'll see how we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I realized I don't have to yell into the microphone. 70. Well, on the plus side, the lady didn't steal my camera. That was an epic win and a little bit of a scary moment when from 200 meters away, I could see what she was doing, but couldn't do anything about it. Uh, the other thing, interesting thing is it maxed out at 70 meters. Now that is a long way short of 200. So I spoke to Full Aim and asked about it. They said, if I wanted to leave this in, I would. And so I'm absolutely leaving it in. But they said in lab testing, it had proven to be 200 meters in perfect situation. The situation I was in was pretty spot on. There was nothing um, in the way between where the camera and setup was to where the receiver was. There wasn't anything to disrupt. There was no unusual magnetic fields or anything like that. Perhaps if you get one, do a test for yourself. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. 70 meters is still pretty good. Uh, and you can go 70 meters one way with one receiver and 70 meters the other way. So the two receivers can actually be 140 meters apart. Whew, I made it back. So now I've picked my phone up. I've got us like this and I've got the microphone microphone here so now let's turn the mic on and talk to the microphone I imagine if I just clip it onto my shirt as you can see the clips they're, they're significant they're big I long for the day when this is a quarter of the size that would just be wonderful wouldn't it but what do you think about the quality recording of it it's recording through the, uh, the through the TX sending it to the RX that's plugged in to the bottom of the phone and then it's recording onto this video. So the audio you're getting in is this video. Does that all make, make sense? Now I've also checked it and you can use a, an array of audio recorders and record, use this system to record straight to that. And you can put a lav mic on here. And I would put a lav mic on, but the quality that you get depends on the lav mic that you put on. So that's why I'm just using this today to make things as, as uh, neutral in our test as I can.
So what do you think? Did you enjoy the field test? If you got this far, you're obviously considering whether this is something you wanna you wanna purchase or you support this channel and you love me. And for that second bit, oh, you're so good. You're a legend. Thank you so much. You can comment in below. You can say, I think I'm the legend you're talking about, Ralph. And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you are. Or like in six months time, I'll be like, what? What is that? I don't understand what that means. But it's all my fault. Okay, 16-bit um, audio. I means the quality isn't like incredible quality, but it is still really, really good for for what we need. And I've I've listened to the audio back, and I'm like, wow, that sounds really clean, crisp, and just well adjusted. And what I love about this though is these little plugs that you can put into your phone or into your laptop or into your camera. They just they enable the versatility of this little unit to be exponentially increased. What I would love to see one day is the cable that connects the RX unit to your camera to some how magically be stored in here so you could just pull it out and rather than going where's that cable I put it somewhere likewise if we could see if we can store the fluffy caps the dead cats or the wind socks see if we can store it in the box they just they just don't get stored in the so future developments for all you budding dual wireless microphone developers out there you could make it so that this was able to actually have a windsock that you could just keep on all the time if you had a built-in cable that it was all here so all you had to do was take this out for day shooting wow that would be the dream but until you get there i love this well done full aim good job and I, you're just like, here's the price. Um, I, I'm always a bit hesitant to put the price because it changes and it bumps around. But if you're looking for one, go to the link in the description below. I'd love you to purchase through that. I'm not sure if it's an affiliate or not, but the affiliate links, then they're, they're labeled. I have them and it's always ah, much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about this that I can answer that I haven't in this um, already, please let me know and um, we'll hang out some more. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. No, 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 no. You're filming. I'm not filming. I'm sitting here. You're helping me film. Okay.